Yep, you're right. She's driving it. The uh, insurance company taking care of stuff didn't want us touching anything at all. But the shop it will be going to, he said, guess what? It's already mine. Even though he can't get it in for like two months. Um, he told Becky, he says, tell that, pull the freaking grill guard off the hood so you can open the hood so you can check the oil. That way it's drivable. That way, you know, it's not sitting in my way for the next two months while there's an extra vehicle, which that's another thing. Said insurance company didn't want to uh, pay for a loaner. Especially when it was going to be so long. I mean, if it was going to be, you know, a week or something, it sounded like there wasn't going to be any issues. But, you know, if that can't be driven for the next two months before it goes in, you're looking at, you know, what, eight weeks, nine weeks that we wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have it to drive. So, anybody from any insurance company, yada, yada wants to complain about it I wrapped a strap around the grill guard and pulled it away from the hood per orders from the body shop that's going to fix it because that's something they'd have to do to get even start anything and uh, it's not like the owner of that body shop doesn't know that I have a clue And there is the mini one, whatever she's being called. She was up with a big stretch earlier. Yeah, she's nice and curled up now. Very alert. Hopefully we can keep her from getting pneumonia. And the cow with the lump on her. Jaw, chin, whatever. Doesn't seem to be bothering her, but it's still there. I was able to reach in her mouth to figure that it wasn't inside, so I'm guessing she could have got banged. Could be a grass seed got worked in from the outside. You know, could be a lot of things. It looks like breakfast is being served over here. Two separate tables. Excuse me, I got a feeling breakfast may be being served up in the feed barn too because the other two calves are not in this pen right now. And they were. And they're not outside where I can see. And six of these calves were over there in the nice straw. And then three of them were laying over here. Obviously that's changed. But they know where it is. They're there. That's better for him anyway. I've been trying to get it so we can do that. Now it's done. Oh, yeah. Mom's laying there, but it's still breakfast time. Mom, Mom move your leg a little bit because I, I might want to have breakfast. Mom, really? Well, maybe you can get to it. Yeah, there you go. I think that little bugger does that on the most regular basis. And that one's not yours. See, she's going to tell you so. Tell your mom to move her leg. You let her get up. I swear I've only seen that like maybe three or four times in my life. Well, three or four different calves in my life do that. And he is very consistent in doing that. It tells me, Mom's just a lazy ass. Won't get up and make breakfast. Gotta make him make it himself. Oh, well. And hey, it's not really foggy. There's some fog up high, but not down low. A little different. I kind of wondered about today, since we weren't fogged in down here and there was just a little fog up above. It's raining. Go figure. And feeding's done. Do that, then I come out here, shut the lights off, close the gate, 
but I always check. Because you never know who might have slipped a calf under a gate, <clears throat> which isn't a good thing. It's happened. The ones that have, they've done it down there in those metal sections where it gets way too much water in there from the leaky roof. And uh, luckily they haven't died of hypothermia or drowned. I've reached down and you know, all there is, all there's been is a head sticking out while they're in there upright, luckily, with their nose out. Reach down, pull them out, go hose them off and warm them up. And, you know, hey, the other lucky part is it's only been new ones. So the slime, you know, if they haven't been completely cleaned up, I think the slime kind of helps. Look at there got an audience they're like what is he doing out there it's raining he's getting wet it ain't raining that hard yet but it looks like it's coming so yeah just change plans for the day in the week what the hell They started out, <clears throat> a couple of them headbutting in their little pen over there. Then they went to the zoomies. The other one obviously got preoccupied outside. There was three of them doing it. Now she's like, come on, somebody. As she gives a little cough. I'd rather see them active like that and coughing a little bit get the crap out of their lungs. Kind of waiting for Ty to get out here so we can catch these others and see how they are. It's none of these have been real active. I mean, you know, probably not unusually not active but just not real active so it was decided we needed something different for charging the back rubbers we use brute and diesel mixed that's for bugs lice that kind of crap so you know nice new pump nice new deal all together I just broke it and broke it more than once. Better focus on that. That nubbin sticking out. It's nowhere near the shape it was. I actually ended up breaking that top piece out of there. Because the way it looked, it's like, well, okay, those are tabs and that's what holds it. But you put, it says push down and turn to release it. Yeah, bullshit. Um... I ended up ruining that. We're going to put a couple of screws in there to hold that in. It'll work. I had to take a pair of slip joints. Put on the flats on that so I could get the thing broke loose to rotate it. So now we're going to take it up to the shop, shove that piece down in there where it belongs. Take a couple of short sheet rock screws and shove it in there. Then it'll be able to be used like it was. And we'll go from there. It ain't pretty, but functional. Those are like three eighths or half inch long screws. And she's telling me it's leaking somewhere. Oh, nice. It's dribbling around. Look at that. Hmm. Yeah. Everything should have been checked beforehand. Oh, anyway, this works now. Tighten it up real far enough it locks so you can pick it up. And it'll unlock without taking it out. Well, now to address this issue. Figured I'd show you what we got for the back rubbers so they can get out of the way. Kind of like building a gate, right? One of these at the end of the calf barn, too, where they go outside. Of course, they never make these rubbers the right length. And somebody goobered. Because, uh... 
last time I got changed. But Clavis is on, but the way they work, they'll eventually come loose here. So I had little zip ties holding these. And this one's not so bad because it's against the post. They can't rub next to it. But this one at the other end. Last time rubber got changed. I think there was a couple chain links or something to gap it. I mean, it won't pull clear up, especially now that she filled it. The kids put the new one on and they didn't put the, um, yeah, put the zip tie on. So we lost the pin, lost the links that were there, and that's what's there. But because where this one is, you know, it latches the same as the gate, but you see it just clears. The uh, problem is with the cable over here, it doesn't clear there. I just took the cable loose to get it past it. Oh, so we get it past here. Slide that out. And this only goes from this side. It won't go from the other side. Um, there's a pin weld right here. You can see it or not. So it can't slide out and open. Ah, there. That's locked in there. Can't go anywhere. Tonight when we open the gate... They'll have more fun with that than they will with the gate latch. And uh, a little three-gallon sprayer, Ty said it worked pretty good. She says, it's really slow. Well, we used to use an old sprinkling can with the end cut off. Problem with an old sprinkling can with the end cut off, you got a one-inch hole you're pouring the stuff out of. And it's kind of hard to pour slow enough to let it soak in. So you end up making a big mess. And usually it would take two or three sprinkler canfuls to get one of these charged for the year, to start the season anyway. Which would be about four or five gallons. She put three gallons in this one. It's wet. It's ready to go. Because by using the sprayer and going slow, give it time to soak in. And it ain't time for them to come in yet. I just want to get that out. And I'll tighten that feeder back up. Then go see if she's ready to try to catch some calves. That's the first one born to the cows. He was sick earlier. How many were you yesterday? He's 1031. Five. There's only one in here we haven't checked yet. I mean, they're stout little shits. Really droopy yet. I mean, she's a little droopy. He's a little droopy. But every last one of them's on the temp. Uh, I shouldn't say that. We haven't caught 132s yet. But they all got raspy lungs. And all above 102 and a half. 102 and a half is kind of my cutoff. Unless you run one pair around the yard two or three times. Then you question it because they can't get hot running. But we're one or two and a half up to one or three point one so far. So a bunch of sick kids. Yep, the end of another day. Blue wants me to yell at him again. Blue, out. Some of them are getting a little. Most of them are so used to walking against the pole because they don't want to walk out any further. She don't want to move over. She just wants to go. They all walk through it eventually. They always do. Boomer. Little girl. She goes under the wrong spot. She'll catch it. She kind of bows her back for it. <coughs> now, there's one I was scratching on earlier. We we're trying to get calves. It's 232. Just going to come over and say hi. Work her way in. 
But I mean, none of them are stopping to scratch on that today. So, and if she's going to scratch her butt on the twine, though. And there's little Daisy May here. Whatever her name is. Brainy, get out of there. She don't need to go yet out there and find any cats. Either. Anybody that has an experience with dog that eats calf shit. Oh, yeah. It's a wonderful aroma. Yeah, anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you had a good day. And tomorrow would be hump day, wouldn't it? So, have a happy hump day, too.